Hey Gemini, this is uh, Soul, and Gemini, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of uh, March 6th through the 12th, 2017. The messages will also be for uh, Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. Okay, let's get right into your uh, messages, Gemini. I hope all is well and everyone is having a wonderful week, or at least past week. For th This reading is for the future week. <laughs> anyway, let's see if we can add to that energy, Gemini, because uh, for some of you, we have the energy with the Six of Cups in the upright position. So... I feel that the Six of Cups is showing up uh, in the upright because there may have been, uh, because the Cups represent love and um, romance for me, uh, but it also represents multiple uh, other things too. So let me just speak about the love and romance. So it may have been that there was somebody who you reconnected with from your past and it's in the upright position because that situation may have been a favorable situation. Either you reached out to someone from your past also, it could be that someone from your past reached out to you. It was a beautiful connection, um, at least with the Six of Cups showing up uh, in the upright position. Now, that's just the romance and uh, intimacy uh, part of it. This could also relate to family members and friends. because This is a card of um, when it comes to this energy going down memory lane, uh, doing some sort of reflecting of your past. Normally it's associated with people from your past. So it could have been that you reconnected with someone that you haven't seen in a long period of time. This could be a friendship, uh, it could be a family member. So apply those messages to whatever that situation is. But if there was a reconnection uh, from the past with someone from your past, then it brought some uh, emotional happiness and good times uh, for you. For the rest of you this upcoming week, this is the energy that could still relate to those messages and someone um, that you possibly reach out to from your past or reconnect or someone from your past reaching out to you or reconnecting with you. Um, family member, old loves, could be water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, male or female, could be any zodiac sign. Or if it's outside of the relationships from having to go down memory lane or people reaching uh, back from their past to you or you going back from your past to reaching out to them. It could be that you're just doing some reflect. This is going to be a week for you to overall reflect about some uh, important area or aspect of your life. OK, this is a general reading, so I'm covering uh, all the areas and aspects of your life. So apply those messages to that. The King of Brooms is up next. And this is all about, um, you know, the wands energy, which relates to fire signs. So it could be that someone is feeling emotionally good because there's a connection between an air sign, you, Gemini, and a fire sign. And this king would represent that person uh, because this is a court card and I see court cards as actual people. It also could be because it is the brooms or the wands um, related to Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female. It's also related to uh, energy being, you know, swift or quick. It's like the eight of wands. Any brooms that I get, depending on uh, which number. Uh, but because this is a court card, I'm also feeling that something uh, swiftly is about to occur. Now, that could be almost anything. It could be, you know, like uh, a job, a new job, um, someone deciding um, we don't have any. Yeah, we don't have any uh, swords here, so there's no heavy decision making and the swords will represent your energy. But it could be a, something occurring this upcoming week related to a job. Uh, this could be a relationship or somebody's feeling happy about a reconnection to a fire sign, possibly. I don't know. Um, you guys have to, you know, chime in with the comments to let me know. But there's something going on or it may be something that takes place this upcoming week related to fire uh, and their energy. But the king is someone who is very passionate, very intense. And usually he and the king could also represent female energy. He or she goes after what they want um, with passion and intensity. So keep that in mind as well. So I do feel a connection here that is either uh, had taken place or it will be taking place this week with this king. Uh, middle of the week, seven of cups, uh, you know, some choices may have, um, you know, 
may have been in the forefront for uh, some of you uh, Gemini's and now the seven of cups is in the reverse and you have selected or made a choice. It's a card about uh, having multiple options, but normally in the upright, it's all about there's so many things to pick and choose from, but you make, have to make sure that you pick the right option that's going to resonate uh, for you. So some of you may have, um, and this could be related to relationships as well with the six of cups, and this is the seven of cups. This cups energy also relates always for me um you know children so there could be some sort of children involved um with the six of cups and the seven of cups in the reverse the seven of cups for me just simply means that you either there's some sort of completion of having to make a choice and you select it whether that choice was good or bad um because i don't know you and uh, I don't know what choices that you had to um, undertake, but usually that's what this means. Some sort of completion uh, to having to have multiple choices um, related to some something significant or important for you. When I said that this is, you know, for the most part going to turn out to be a pretty good week for some of you. Now, the last card Friday going into the weekend is the Ace of Broom. So that's uh, again, it's all about the king and the ace of brooms this is you know related to news the page of brooms the eight of brooms and the ace of brooms is all related to news coming in some sort of arrival of news uh, it may come in quickly it may come in intensely Whatever it is, I feel it's more positive than it is negative. There's no negative energy here. Aces are all about fresh starts, new beginnings. So there's something that's on its way that's going to either um, present a new situation for Gemini's relationships. This could be a friendship. This could be a job. Um, it could be because the you know, six of cups is showing up could be related to uh, a birth of a child. So many things going on. It could be that there is a quickness of a reconnection with a X that may or may not be a fire sign or a water sign. It could be any zodiac sign. And then it may be that Friday going into the weekend, all of this energy starts to uh, take form and take place. So, like I said, this is not a bad reading. It's good energy. Uh, really there's no negative stuff that I'm picking up here so make this a wonderful week Gemini um, but if nothing in terms of the messages that come through for you uh, related to any relationships new jobs or anything like that at least you have these uh, six of cups and that's feeling good emotionally about either um, just being alive or just something going on uh, that's close personal or significant for you okay Gemini I hope this is helpful and beneficial uh, for you. And being that I'm a Gemini moon, I hope that this energy comes through. Um, but we will see because I am actually waiting for some some, you know, some news uh, about something. So we'll see if this takes place. Um, but with that being said, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week ahead. Of course, a week full of love and light until I talk to you again, Gemini. Please be well. Bye.